Hi there. Now in this tutorial, what I want to do is show you how we go about integrating terms that contain a cos squared function. I've got here the integral of cos squared x with respect to x, and here the integral of 5 cos squared 8 theta integrated with respect to theta. Now I'll show you how we go about integrating this one, and then you might like to have a go at integrating this one. So to integrate any cos squared function, what we need to do is turn to this identity that you should be familiar with, cosine 2a. Cos 2a is identical to cos squared a minus sine squared a, or 2 cos squared a minus 1, or 1 minus 2 sine squared a. Now, for this type of integral, where we've got to integrate a term that contains cos squared of an angle, we turn to 2 cos squared a minus 1. So I'm going to just call that identity number 1. And what we do is we make cos squared a the subject. So I could add 1 to both sides, first of all. And if I do that, let's just say from 1, okay, from 1, what we get if we add that 1 to both sides is 2 cos squared a is identical to 1 plus cos 2a. So therefore 2 cos squared a is identical to 1 plus cos 2a. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 2 just to leave me with cos squared a. So therefore we've got cos squared a is identical to a half of all of 1 plus cos 2a. I could write 1 plus cos 2a all over 2, it's up to you, but I do prefer for this type of work to write a half. And the reason for that is because when we've got the x here, I'm going to replace the a with an x. But because I have one term here, I'm going to write that half out the front of an integral because it's a constant. So I get half the integral of all of 1 plus cos. And I said that a was being replaced with an x. Here we've got 2a, so it becomes 2x, double this angle here. So if this said 5x, I would write 1 plus cos 10x. Okay? Anyway, so we've got here that it equals half the integral of 1 plus cos 2x, and we're integrating it with respect to x. So this becomes very easy to integrate now. We should be able to integrate the 1 with respect to x. It's going to be x. And the integral now of cos 2x is just going to be plus a half sine of 2x. And then mustn't forget the constant of integration. So I'm just going to say plus c. Obviously, you can use any letter you like there. Now, this answer is correct, but it's not in its simplified form because we've got a fraction here inside this bracket. So it's a good idea to pull a half out the front. So a half times this half is going to give us a quarter. But because I pulled a quarter out the front here, I now have to change this x by making it a 2x. A quarter of 2x gives me half x. The half's gone out the front. That just leaves me with this last term here in the bracket as being sine 2x. Close the bracket, and then we've got that constant of integration. And there's my answer. Now I did say that you might like to have a go at this one here, the integral of 5 cos squared 8 theta with respect to theta. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video, and when you come back, I'll run through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now with this one, I'm going to replace the a here with 8 theta. So it's going to be identical to a half of 1 plus cos twice 8 theta, in other words, 16 theta. So what we've got here is that this is equal to the 5 
it's a constant in this one term so I can pull it out the front it'll be 5 multiplied with the half so that'd be 5 over 2 times the integral of 1 plus cos of 2 times 8 theta in other words then 16 theta and I'm integrating all of this with respect to theta so we've got the constant out the front 5 over 2 and the integral of 1 with respect to theta is theta and the integral of cos 16 theta with respect to theta is going to be 1 16th of the sine of 16 theta close the bracket there and put the constant of integration which I'll call plus C again. This is okay, but we've got a fraction inside this bracket here. So I'm going to pull 1 16th out the front. So 5 over 2 times 1 16th becomes 5 over 32. But because I've pulled the 16 out, we have to change this then to 16 theta. And then that leaves me just with plus sine 16 theta there and close the bracket and put the constant of integration. So there we go. And I hope that's given you some idea now how we can go about integrating then terms that contain a cos squared function only. Just by using this identity here, which I would encourage you to learn. So I hope that's been of some use to you and that you can now go on and add this to your methods of integration.